Hello all. In this video, we will see skin sensitization study in guinea pigs according to OECD guidelines. So, skin sensitization study. What skin sensitization means? It is also called as allergic contact dermatitis. It is immunologically mediated cutaneous reaction to a substance. And in humans, the response may be characterized by pruritus, erythema, papules, vesicles, or, bile, or a combination of this. In other species, the reactions may differ and only erythema and edema may be seen. So, most preferred species for skin sensitization study is guinea pigs. So, the study named as skin sensitization study in guinea pigs. And the commonly used strain is Albino Duncan Hartley. So, what are the housing conditions are required for keeping the animals that is guinea pig in if uh, you say it in GLP laboratories or in animal house. So, the tem temperature in the study room will be or it should be 20 plus minus 3 degrees Celsius and relative humidity should be between 30 to 70 percentage and laboratory diet if it is not certified fortified with vitamin c then it should be supplemented with potable water to guinea pigs at the dose range of one gram per liter of drinking water bedding material used for guinea pigs may be corn cob or paddy husk bedding material should be changed at least twice a week or whenever necessary housing should be this guinea pig should be caged individually. So, Magnussen and Kligman method and Buhler method are these two methods used for skin sensitization study in guinea pigs. So, there are OECD guidelines available for this uh, test. So, we will see how this test are differ differs. So, the number of animals in treatment group for Magnuson and Kligman method used are 10 and for control 5 as well as in other hand for Wooler methods number of animals for treatment used are 20 and for control are 10. So one terminology used here uh, that we will see first so that you can understand in a better way. Clipping. Clipping is removal of hair or fur of the uh, the guinea pigs so clipping for the pre-test animal should be done only one day prior to dosing and recorded okay so for magnuson and kligman method over dorsal thoracic region for two animals and on both flanks for other two animals the clipping should be done and in buhler method this clipping should be done over both the flanks regions for all the animals Okay, one more difference is the topical induction application should be performed on day 8 in Magnuson and Kligman method whereas on days 1, 8 and 15 in Buhler method and challenge exp exposure should be performed on day 8 in Magnuson and Kligman method whereas on days 1, 8 and 15 in Buhler method. So patch will be held for 24 hours in Magnuson and Kligman method whereas for 6 hours the patch will be held in Buhler method. After this, patch removal and observation of skin reaction at done will be done at 24 hour in Magnuson and Kligman method and patch removal and skin reaction observation will be done for tw after 24 and 48 hours in Buhler method. So injection site for intradermal application. For intradermal ap induction, so 0.1 ml injection per site will be applied over the thoracic region of the animals using 1 ml syringe with 25 or 26 gauge needle. Intradermal injection involves induction in Magnuson and Kligman method. The three sets of injection for the control guinea pigs and treatment guinea pigs can be done which I have shown in the right figure where this injection should be given. So on day first for the control animals, injection one, one will be containing 1 as to 1 volume by volume mixture of FCA and physiological saline. Injection 2 will be 
selected vehicle and injection 3 will be 50% volume by volume formulation of the vehicle in a 1 as to 1 mixture of FCA and physiological saline that is this will be the mixture of 1 as to 1 mixture of injection 1 and injection 2 whereas in the treatment group injection 1 will be 1 as to 1 volume by volume mixture of FCA and physiological saline as that of control group but the injection 2 will be test item in the appropriate vehicle at the selected concentration so here the difference is of test item test item means your desired desire uh, uh, means any chemical compound which you want to test and injection 3 is the test item at the selected concentration formulated in 1 as to 1 volume by volume mixture of FCA and physiological saline that is the concentration of injections equal will be equal to injection 2 next is injection site for topical application for topical application the required concentrations of test item should be placed over the flank regions of the animals under occlusion if the test item is found to be non-irritant topically in pre-test local irritation should be created on a test site that is right flank region one day before topical application in Magnuson and Kligman method by smearing 0.5 ml of 10% sodium laurel sulfate in white petroleum jelly to all animals. A patch of paper of dimension approximately around 3 as to 3 by 3 cm should be loaded with selected concentration of test item in a suitable vehicle and applied over the flank region of treatment group animals. Then the filter paper should be covered with aluminum foil and secured by an ad adhesive tape for 48 hours in Magnuson and Kligman method and 6 hours in Buller method after which the patches should be removed and site of application is gently cleaned with cotton soaked in purified water. So control groups animals are tested similarly with vehicle. The skin reaction of this topical induction application should be observed at approximately 24 hours after the patch rem removal. Next is challenge exposure. Approximately 24 hours before the challenge exposure, that is day 22 in Magnuson and Klingman method and day 29 in Buller method, both right and left flank regions of all animals should be clipped. Clipped means the removal of fur. Two patches of paper of dimensions approximately 3 by 3 cm loaded with selected concentration of test item on one and vehicle alone on the other should be prepared. For left flank test item concentration on for right flank there will be vehicle alone. A response of at least 30% in an adjoint test and at least 15% in a non-adjoint test should be expected for mild or moderate sensitizers that is for example, mercaptobenzothiazole. The solubility and pH of the test item should be checked. Vehicles for intradermal induction will be purified water or propylene glycol in Magnuson and Kligman method. And intradermal induction will not be performed for Buller method. And for topical application, the vehicle will be purified water 80% or 80% or ethanol and for challenge exposure purified water or 80% ethanol or acetone in Magnuson Kligman method and Buller method. Then scoring. The skin reactions for intradermal induction should be observed and scored at about 24 hours and 48 hours after test item administration. The occlusive patches should be removed at about 24 hours after topical application and the skin reaction should be scored as per I, have, I will show this uh, in the upcoming slides at approximately 24 hours and 48 hours after patch removal. So this is grading scale for the evaluation of dermal reactions. So erythema and ester formation can be graded as 0 to 4 that is 0 is no erythema very slight erythema will be 1 well defined uh, erythema will be 2 moderate to seve severe erythema 3 and severe erythema to ester formation preventing grading of erythema that is grade will be 4 and for edema formation that grades are also 0 to 4 that is no edema means 0 very slight edema means 1 slight edema means 2 moderate edema which are of approximately 1 millimeter size that will be grade as 3 and severe edema which is raised more than 1 millimeter and extending beyond area of its exposure will be grade as 4. 
at last interpretation it is done by incident in incidence index these are five grades of allergic allergenic potency so grade 1 if the sensitization rate percentage is 0 to between 0 to 8 which, which is classified as weak so these five grades are 1 2 3 4 5 which, which are weak mild moderate strong and extreme depending on the percentage of sensitization rate that is 0 to 8 9 to 28 29 to 64 65 to 80 and 81 to 100 so this whatever i have explained this is this might be complicated for you guys to understand but if you go to the oecd guidelines so this in combination with the oecd guidelines if you go through then it will understand it will make you understand better in if you read this along with that